for a vape review. He's a comedian. He's a realist. He keeps it real. He's the only real vape reviewer. Presenting Jay Hayes. Woo! What is going on? How's everybody doing? I don't know why that wasn't rolling. That's all right. Hello, hello, hello. Oh my God! What did you want me to start with? The bowl. Oh, the bowl. Where's the bowl, Bree? In the back. Let me get the bowl. I would have started with the bowl. I didn't think about that. Hold on a second. Shit. Oh, well, forget it. It's too late. Don't worry about it. Anyway, um, yeah. Hello, everybody. How is everybody doing? I would have done that, Vaughn. I didn't even think about it, brother. Uh, so what do we got? We've got a lot of news. A lot of news. It's been a while since I've done an actual channel that have been dedicated just to vape news. Anybody that's been watching me for a while, you know that basically I stream on, on Twitch daily, but I'll talk some shit. It won't necessarily be about vaping, but yesterday someone had brought up, you know, Jay, what happened? Why don't you go live anymore on the, on the YouTubes? And, and the argument I had was, well, cause there's not really much vape news for me to let everybody know what is happening. Like there's, there's no point. Everybody knows what the federal law is. Everybody knows about the PMTAs. So what the fuck am I going to talk about? I guess I could talk about my future products, but then that's just too dry and it's all about me. And even though it's my channel, it can't be about me. It's got to be about you. So with that, I have news for you. And my argument was, okay, well, I guess now that I have all the news from yesterday, I'll just share some of it today. Now, some of it is going to be a little bit mind boggling to you, but I can promise you that it is 100% real. There's now... Before you say that it's fake news or it may not be right or it's not being reported correctly, I've done very thorough research on about 95% of these articles. But before we get that started, how is everybody else doing inside of the chat? I, I would have got I would have got the bowl. I, I would have got it. I promise you zero, I would have. What's up, Andre? What's going on, brother? What are we doing? We're starting with the trolls already? Yep, let's, that's, yep. That's, that's what we're doing. You know, the other day I was in a live YouTube and I thought it was so funny that on the bottom of the screen, it said, if you PayPal or Cash App me for $5, you will become a moderator. That is, first off, that's against YouTube's policy. Number one, right? Like right off the jump, forget all the morality reasons, it being wrong. YouTube's not a fan of that. They don't want to, they don't want you to charge people to get a wrench. Number one, people should be paying you to have a fucking wrench, which is what they'd be doing there. So that argument is just stopped. Uh, but no, it, it was funny because, it, and then the whole chat was all moderators. Like it defeats the purpose of a moderator because now a moderator can't mod unmoderate somebody that's being a fool because they gave five bucks. Okay. Okay. So let's let's go over it. So a lot of these articles, we're gonna go about I'll go over about ten of them. It is vape news. Uh, some on the other side of vaping in regards to, what is that? $10. Thank you, Chaz, for the 10 beans. Keep it up, Jay. You're the realest face of vape. Um, sure. Thank you. I, I, I like to consider myself real. I consider myself a chubby bunny. 
So there's a lot of me to love. And I don't know if $10 covers all of my square footage, but I wonder about how much square feet I'd be. About five, maybe? Six? If I was, if you were to put me in a square, how I could go in a... All right. Let's just move forward. Um, anyway, Jay, do you plan a review? I'm not going to talk about review shit, man. We're not talking about review shit. That's not what this channel is. We don't do reviews here. We do live vape news daily. That's what happens. Sergio, what's up, brother? Thank you for the 10 beans, man. All right. So let's go over some of this news. This is going to be fun shit. Some of this news is not going to make anybody happy. I promise you that. There is, I, there is not one positive article I'm going to share with you today. Well, it, I guess it depends on where you're at. Uh, thank you for the 10 beans, brother. Let's just get this. Let's get this party started. I haven't done this in a while. Stand by. No, I don't want scenes. What do I want? Overlays? Yes. All right. So, oh, let me, let me, let me go back. Okay. So somebody made a comment, right? And they were like, you know what IQOS, IQOS stands for? They said IQOS is I quit ordinary smoking. My mind was blown. I said, God, dog, why did I never think of that? Why has that never crossed my mind that that's what the acronym means? So I take to the internet because you know the internet don't lie, right? You search enough, you will find, you know, ask and thou shalt tell. Well, apparently Philip Morris, Jay, man, thank you so much, daddy-o, 100 bucks. That should cover my square footage. Because both, both me and you were fat, right? So if the, the both of us got together, I feel like that might keep us... Well, we get a real nice comforter for that, Jay. And we could wrap ourselves in it like a big-ass burrito. You be the llama bean, I'd be the beef. Ayo! Then Brie could be the cheese. Oh. I'm here all week. Okay. Um, Bogdan, that's not going to work, brother. You're going to need to drop a whole lot more than five bucks for a wrench. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I actually do need more moderators inside of YouTube chat. Let's just get into it. So... I take the Phil Morris and said, Phil Morris, what does IQS mean? What does it mean? Tell me what it means. Let me just go ahead and read that to you. Although many have tried to come up with this explanations of IQOS, none of these creative ideas are correct. IQS is not an acronym, but a brand name created to denote innovation and game-changing technology coupled with advanced science and that we could protect and use in many markets. So if you heard that right, basically IQS does not mean I quit ordinary smoking. It is flashy. I'll give you that. It sounds good. You might want to approach Philip Morris or Al Trail with that, but that's not what it means. Just a heads up. So that's super, super fun. Anyway, not really news, but this is this is this is a kicker right here. Let me go ahead and read this to you. This is this is about a company. Hold on, let me let me backtrack real quick. This is about a company that said. So hold on, I gotta go on. I'm gonna see. So do I. Um. So this is a company. They had sent me stuff about a year ago, maybe two years ago, and some of their flavors were absolutely repulsive. They were like. Hippocampus, Tai Chi, or Chai Tea. <laughs> I think Tai Chi is a martial art. Uh, <laughs> boba, right? The little balls. What are they? Tapioca. All these weird flavors. And I remember trying them. I was like, ooh, if I could just get a different flavor, like we'd be good. So... Let me go over here and show you this. This is this is interesting. Chinese vape company is going for US IPO. Now, some of you don't know what that means. That's internet protocol. Chinese largest vaping firm is planning on going public with a brand new initial public offering on stock markets in the United States. See, but here's the thing. As a tobacco company, you're going to be in quite the conundrum because you you can't as a tobacco company. But well, let me just keep reading. Uh, RLX claims to be the China, China's largest producer of vapor products. That I find interesting right there. I find that interesting that this company here, RLX, I called it Relax when I did the review, is larger than that of Smoke, Vaporesso, Watofo. Really? This company. Okay. 
That company promotes its popular Relax, re, we'll just say Relax brand of vaporizer and e-liquids sold internationally. The Security and Exchange Commission, SEC, the U.S. Regulatory Stock Exchanges, took a filing from RLX Relax informing the federal government of the company's intentions to join the markets in the country. We're talking about the United States. The United States having stocks as a vapor company. RLX intends to share on the New York Stock Exchange, the NYSE. $1.2 billion in initial public offering is sought after by the company, making the latest example. All right, let me just kind of go down here. Um, this It's a very long story. It's so long that it just stopped right there. Basically, the issue they're going to run into... This is not the correct article. Stand by. That's not, that's not the correct one. Hold on. Hold on. I have to pull up the article. Um, stock exchange. The issue they're going to run into is that they are a tobacco company and they're trying to file as a tech company. Hold on. Six days ago. That's not what I'm looking for. Give me one second, guys. I'm sorry. Here we go. I got it. Okay, so here we go. Uh, after Blockbuster IPO, China's top vape maker faces a regulatory conundrum. Is it tobacco or is it tech? So, uh, it's too far young to smoke. Founded just under three years ago. That's going to say three years ago. And, and you're the biggest in all of China? Oh, God, it's to subscribe more. That's it. That's it. We're going. We're going members only, chat. Son of a bitch. I should have saved it before I had this little pop-up. Basically, the issue that they're going to run into is you're trying to go on a stock exchange as a tobacco company. But then you're trying to flip it up and say, you know, we're tech. We're not tobacco. But in America, the way that we look at vape is regardless of whatever you create, right? If e-liquid goes in it, it's vape. It especially statewide, you know, that that that's a very big thing. I, f I found that super interesting. For those of you that are into, is Judd here? Where's Judd at? That's the stock guy. Judd, we got to talk. Okay, Mr. G5. I don't, I don't know why I got this Montana thing here. There's nobody that is a vapor that's from Montana, so I'm not even going to cover that. This is a big one, though, so check this out. So we've heard a lot about Australia, right, and their, and their banning of nicotine and how it'll basically become illegal. But vaping in Australia continues as government scraps. They threw it away. Proposed ban on nicotine e-cigarette imports. This was a large thing that a lot of vape reviewers and vapers from Australia and New Zealand were all talking about because they were very, very nervous that, in fact, um, that was it for them. They weren't going to be able to vape anymore. Australia's vaping company has had, let's see how long this is. Yeah, I think this is somewhat long. You're just going to have to bear with me. It's had a wild year as Health Minister Greg Hunt, what a name, proposed a ban on nicotine vaping imports back in June, which was then postponed for six months and is almost immediately pushed back from the public and members of their own party surfaced in response to the proposal. With less than three months before the ban has come into effect, the Australian government has decided to set the ban aside and establish a select committee on tobacco harm reduction. Sounds eerily similar to the United States, doesn't it? Remember the vaping task force? I remember that. Moving forward. To launch an inquiry into vaping and establish clear e-cigarette laws. In Australia, overseas vape companies have been providing adult vapors. I read that totally different. Adult videos with access to nicotine-containing vaping products that are not available at local stores. Making it possible for tobacco smokers in the country to leave smoking behind by transitioning to vaping with nicotine e-liquid. The practice of importing nicotine vaping products into Australia for personal use, a practice used by many vapors across the country, is regulated under the Therapeutic Goods Administration Personal Importation Scheme. It's something I just want to interrupt real quick. You know, when with, with vaping, the way that it is, and with nicotine, is nicotine for a long time was used as a pesticide. And I think still in Australia, they do classify nicotine as a pesticide. It's odd to think that we vape on these pesticides because we find enjoyment out of it, but yet we complain about huffers and hairspray. 
That's just a little democratic look at it. Thank you. I'm here all weekend. Under the TGA's personal importation scheme, Australians have been able to legally import nicotine vaping products. I think huffing is glue. Uh, that's, <laughs> sorry. I'm a little bit all over the place. Vaping products from overseas companies to help them quit smoking to reduce. This is the same shit. Redundant, 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 redundant. Uh, for instance, Australians are limited in the amount of nicotine they can legally import for personal use at one time as well well as how much they can import a given year. Had the proposed ban on the importation of nicotine containing vape liquid gone into effect, those found to be a violation of the new measure would be have been subjected, would have been, no, would he have been, I don't know how I said that, subjected to a $220,000 fine. Uh, when the ban was initially proposed, basically this ban is gone, so it doesn't even matter. That's it. That's the end of that discussion. It's over. So don't worry about it, Australia. Vape on my surfboard and friends overwhelming evidence that vaping is far safer and a proven method okay fantastic moving on to the next article um anyway so that yeah that, that that's cool that australia finally decided against it a lot of people were like all oh, crazy about it jay can you sign this petition for australia and I said, I don't know how you do petitions in your country, but in our country, we'll have 48 million people sign it and it doesn't do absolutely anything. So I, I can't even figure out why I'd waste 10 seconds on putting my fucking name in the form. What all I'm going to do is get spam emails about how to increase my dick size. Like I don't, I'm not interested in any of that. So I'm not going to submit to your petition, but that's good that they decided against it. That's good. We'll ask some more questions, maybe get some feedback and then we'll go on to the next article. What are you smiling at? I tried to do it. It didn't work. What'd you try to do? <laughs> you look like a clown. I tried so hard. Let me Jay. see. <laughs> Go clean it off. <laughs> um. Yeah, so that's, you know, that's good for you Australian vapors. Do we have any Australians? If you are Australian in here and you are a vapor, can I get an A1? Uh, not if you're Australian living in, in England. I'm asking if you're an, in Australia and you vape, can I get an A1 inside the chat? <sighs> Let's get a feel of where we're at. Nobody. Good. Well, good job, Australia. Fantastic. Let's move forward. Here's the next article. This is a banger. This is what one of the uh, little things I have on the title. FDA yanks pending CBD enforcement proposal. Okay, the White House Office of Management and Budget pulled six FDA guidances and rules from its review, including the proposal cannabinoid, cannabidol, cannabidol, enforcement policy draft guided for industry, handling, handing the CBD industry yet another setback. The move was promoted prompted by President Joe Biden's freeze on all regulations issued by the previous administration that have not yet gone into effect. Now, now, that little sweet number right there is everything you could think of, including vaping. This right here. What does that mean? Let's go a little bit more into it. The withdrawal follows a Biden administration memo to all federal agencies instructing them to withdraw pending rules which includes the CBD guidance that would have laid out FDA's whatever the fuck enforcement policy. New administration, new setbacks. While the, well, look, we could go over that. Hemp allies represented in USDA. As the industry continues to wait on new guidance, it's worth noting that USDA has now tapped two of the members of the National Industrial Hemp Council to the USDA and United States Trade Representative Advisory Panel. Kevin Latner, a vice president of marketing for the group, was appointed the Agricultural Technical Advisory Committee for Trade and Processed Foods in July. Jesus Christ, what a sentence. Earlier this month, Patrick Attagi, chairman of the board, I feel like I'm part of the news. Uh, so basically what this means is this first paragraph is really all that matters right here, right? But something I do want to point out, and I don't think anybody is factoring this in. Something I want to point out is with Biden, right? Now, anybody that follows me knows that I'm not a huge Biden fan. Matter of fact, uh, I wouldn't even put me in the top 1%. I'm just not a fan. I am a fan of the presidency, just not that presidency. 
But what is important to note here, states have been legalizing marijuana in the states, right? But federally, it is illegal. No matter what, every single administration has tried, Democrat-wise, to make it more of an acceptable thing. And when you look at the states that legalized it, it's still illegal federally. Even though the states have made it legal, federally, the federal government can go in and search, seize, all of that, take it all, without them even caring. It, their state does not matter, right? States could always make laws stricter. They can't make them more looser. So if something is banned federally, states cannot unban it. They do it, but that doesn't mean that they can. They just do it because they want to, right? Uh, so, but what is important here, and I, I've tried to take in a, a different step here and looking at with Biden, how he feels about uh, the, the Mary Janes. And basically, if anybody could get it done, it would be Biden. Now, that's me trying to find something positive as much as all the negative shit that he's done the past couple of days or the past couple of weeks, not, well, a couple of days, last week, uh, all, all the different executive orders he signed, all of them bullshit. But the only positive I could see is if he did make that legal, right, that brings more income to each one of these states, federal government, whatever. And now that he holds both the House and the Senate, it should be no problem to pass that law. You might get pushback from Republicans. No, you will. But you can still override that just because you have so many damn Democrats. That's that's something to note. So with that CBD situation, people look at it as a setback. I don't see it that way. I see the exact opposite. What I do see a setback is vape because I don't I don't see how um, Biden or Harris, not like Harris really matters. I don't see how Biden or Harris has any uh, positive things to say about vaping. Marijuana, I'm sure they've got Stories upon stories. You know, like uh, Kamala Harris said in an interview. I wish I had this clip to play real quick. But Kamala Harris said in an interview that she did inhale. That she's not any different than anybody else. And her father was very upset about that. Because it made their family, being from Jamaica, look bad. This is a true story. I'm not making this up. This is real. This was covered on many, many, many news networks. So, um, yeah, I'm not, I, we won't even get into the politics and how I feel that Biden and uh, Democrats are going to mess this whole country up, but only time will tell. And I'll tell you what, my first argument to be to all of that would be simple. You voted for him. So you have to accept the consequences of what his votes are. I do find it ironic, though, that a lot of people are suing him and winning, like Texas, how the judge ruled. And that's another story. It's gonna not I see I can't talk about that here because people get upset when I talk about not vape related shit. So let's stay focused. Let's let's keep that ball rolling. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Let's move on to the next one. This this is uh this is a good one. This is uh, as the stories get more in depth here. I'm not gonna go over the whole story. Look, you could Google them if you want to find them, but this is a punchline. DC, Maryland, and Virginia flunk report on restricted flavored tobacco products. DC, Maryland, and Virginia didn't make the grade in New American Lung Association. New let me start that over. DC, Maryland, and Virginia didn't make the grade in a new American Lung Association report that examined restrictions on access to flavored tobacco products and vaping among kids. Kids, kids, kids. In the district, there are no restrictions around flavored products. A concern, Alex Casper. What a weird name. Spell your name. Wait, what a weird way to spell your name. Says the American Lung Association is working alongside local lawmakers to change. The district does receive an F there. We know that people who use prime who are primary using these products are youth. We have one in five teens that are vaping. So with all the rules that you put out to stop kids from vaping, all the policies of stopping flavors, of doing this and, and banning flavors, how is that working out for you? Oh, it, it didn't work out. Oh, oh, okay. All right, let's, you, you want it to stop? 
you stop pods. That's how you want it to stop. And that will stop it. I, I promise you that'll work. Uh, Maryland and Virginia also received F grades for having no state laws or regulate. I could swear to God that Maryland has got something about flavors. Are you, are we sure about this, Bree? I am pretty damn sure that Maryland's got something about flavors. It's really important that our local jurisdictions are taking action when it comes to flavor tobacco. Tobacco. Dude, I don't know what the fuck. This isn't even Biden's. I'm just putting letters in words now. It's when you vape as you smoke tobacco to baker. That's it. Casper said the district has taken some major steps by implementing the highest tax rate for tobacco. How? How does that help? Do you really think that kids are going to give a shit about a tax rate? Do you think they're going to buy something and be like, man, I got to pay an extra 24 cents. I don't want to do it. I, it's going to stop me. No, they're just going to ask their mom for an extra quarter. What do you got? In New Jersey, they're upping the cigarette tax by $1.65 to dissuade youths from smoking. No, it's to make money because they've lost so much. Yep. The more we increase the price of tobacco products, the reduction you see in consumption. Bullshit. Bullshit. Who wrote this? It's a smoker. It's a smoker. That's it. I think the council is very methodical about that. Yeah, how'd that work out for you? According to the report, CDC data showed that vaping among kids nationwide had a promising decline in 2020. Let me read that part. Let me, let me, let me retort and read that back to you. According to the report, CDC data showed that vaping among kids nationwide had a promising decline in 2020. That's because they couldn't go to the shops because they were closed because of coronavirus. Moving forward, after two years of massive increases, dropping from 27.5 in 2019 to 19.6, it ain't got shit to do with your law. High school students from the 10.5 to 4.7. And you know, when you look at the numbers of the numbers they're talking about, they're talking about kids that have tried vaping, not kids that vape every fucking day. You know, those, those are very skewed numbers because I started, if we're going by just trying something, I started smoking at eight and I was, I was an alcoholic by nine. My mom let me try one. I was fucked up at 10. I was basically on the path to being a hobo. That is the reality of it. If we base it off of just numbers alone, overall tobacco use among high school students declined from 31 to, I think I just read that. No, 31 in 2019 to 23 in 2020. That's because first off, nobody's going to high school anymore. Everybody's home. <laughs> so you can't take your little test if everybody's home on Corona. What'd you do? Mail it out? You mailed out the thing with the ballots? Who got it? What happened? What happened to the rest of the article? We just moved. Here we are. But there is a downside. The use of disposable e-cigarettes skyrocketed by 1,000% among high school e-cigarette users from 2.4 to 226.5 and 400% among middle school e I Where where do they get these fucking numbers from? Like, Where? And how did you do this test? How did you get these numbers if everybody's on lockdown? How did you get this? I'll wait. I'll wait for an answer. How did you get these numbers? Did you go around to houses with your little mask on? <laughs> Sound like Mr. Just Right? Um <laughs> Like, how did you get that number? Where did you get that from? Anyway, uh, moving forward, D.C. and Maryland both received an A for smoke-free air. Virginia received an F just because they're fucking trash bags. When looking at funding for prevention and treatment, Maryland failed for allocating only 26% of the CDC's recommended funding, $12.5 million out of the $48 million. Virginia also failed. The district came in at $2.8 million instead of $10.7. Any effort that... Blah, 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 blah. Right. So um, I, I just how did you get that number? Like, where did you get that at? I know damn well you didn't go to people's houses. I know you didn't submit any forms because I didn't get one. And um, kids vaping. So 
what that means is the kids that are vaping, let's just say hypothetically that kid numbers vaping went up, right? What that tells me is that since kids are home, their parents are doing the orders for them, right? How does that have anything to do with vaping companies? If your kid gets drunk as shit, is it Smirnoff's fault? If your kid gets drunk as hell off of drinking Bud, Bud Lights and drives his car into a telephone pole, is that Budweiser's fault? No, that's your fault as a parent. That's what that is. You shouldn't be responsible for people's actions. They should be responsible for their own. And in New Jersey, where supposedly stopping flavors were supposed to stop children from buying it, we still have 30% of youth using e-cigarettes. So how did that help anything? Oh, went- that That's a great point. That's a great point. In New Jersey, right? We're, we're one of the law-abiding places. Um, we, we, we passed a law, not just an executive order, a law that says you, can, you can't buy vape-flavored products in New Jersey. Now, we abide by that, but I can tell you that there's other vape stores that don't. But apparently, it's been up so much. It went up 30% in New Jersey. How the fuck did it go up? You've been closed. We're on lockdown. And, they claim that flavors- and you can't sell flavors. How the fuck did it go up 30%? It went up 30%? Wait, did it go up 30%? It went up to 30%. I just you Oh, it went up to 30%. 230%? Yes. 230%? So double the kids of vaping flavors in New Jersey? Okay, so it went up to 30%. Two T-O, not two thirty. Uh That's still, I don't know what it was at before, but how did it go up? Okay, so it went up 10%. How did it go up? How did it go up? Maybe what New Jersey needs to do is travel around to all the vape stores and make sure they're not fucking selling. That's what New Jersey needs to do. Instead of worry about reporting some shit to 230%. Talking out of your asshole with that number. <laughs> 230% out of my ass. I would love a profit margin of 230%. That's double plus 30. <laughs> um, I just, I, I don't know where they get these fucking numbers from. I, I, I don't know. I, I, especially now, you cannot come out with a statistic and say this is what's happening, right? There's no way for you to know. There's no school for you to take your little surveys. There's, and if the government knows that these shops are shipping to New Jersey and they're getting a statistic based off of that, maybe they should be worried about enforcing the law to those companies. That's assuming that they know. Likelihood? Probably not. They're too worried about how they're going to get money from the government. Now that Biden's there, I don't think you're going to have a problem. Uh, yeah. So that that's that's just where I'm at with that shit. I'm, I'm just, I'm not feeling it, man. I'm not digging it. You can't just come up with statistics out of fucking nowhere with no basis. That's okay, though. I'm going to show you a statistic that you're definitely not going to like. And I promise you that someone in here is going to get offended. <laughs> And that's not my fucking problem. I didn't write the article. I'm just reading it. Up to their shenanigans. Yes, sir. Here's another fun article. This is a doozy. Swiss CBD company accuses Jewel of stealing patent. Yeah, because Jewel can't come up with their own shit. They're going to steal yours. These fucking CBD companies. You know your problem is you've been smoking too much CBD. A Swiss CBD company is accusing e-cigarette maker Juul of infringing on one of its patents. Swiss X alleges in lawsuit that Juul Pods copy a nicotine vapor delivery system that Swiss X bought the rights to last year. Hmm. The lawsuit was filed in Delaware Federal Court. Huh. Okay, Swiss X is owned by billionaire. We, we got to dig a little bit further than this. This is not going to be enough because the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office issued the patent in May 2016 to a vendor, Robert Safari. Did he also invent Safari for Mac? Or does he have an in with Great Adventure? 
things to ask. Who assigned it Swiss X? The patent system combines e-liquid in a chamber and vaporizing chamber into a single component. Uh-oh. Wait. You know, when I read the title, I said, okay, you're just trying to make some money. But, um... Okay, this is crazy. They do have a grant. It was filed in 20, 2012. Oh, 2012. Yeah, September. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, the 522 patent issued from the U.S. patent application number, whatever, 501, which was filed at USPTO. That's a trademark. Um, trade. That's where I got my trademark from. September 27, 2012. The... F the 541 application claimed priority to the U.S. provisional patent. Okay, so they had a provisional, which was filed on September 29, 2011. Holy shit. Um, discloses and claims cartomizer for use with an e-cigarette as well as e-cigarette assemblies such as cartomizers. Oh, my God. They have the patent on the battery being separated from the wall. A cartomizer unit for use in an electronic cigarette. The cartomizer unit comp comprising of a liquid chamber for receiving a liquid solution when the liquid chamber includes... A liquid chamber end cap that is removable for allowing the liquids to be received by the liquid chamber. Wait, see, no, 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 no. That's different. Because a jewel, you technically can't open. A liquid chamber end cap that is removable for allowing the liquid solution to be received by the liquid chamber. Okay, so... Okay, they're they're referring to the removable. Okay, so they're not thinking about it the way that I am with f refilling it. Basically, it's all combined to be used as one. An air intake opening formed therein, wherein said air intake opening is covered with a semi-permeable membrane, allowing air into the liquid chamber while retaining the liquid solution with the liquid chamber. That sounds like a jewel pod to me. And an atomization chamber disposed adjacent to the liquid chamber and separated therefrom from by a dividing wall. Oh, my God. Um, well, I can tell you this, that if they win, that's going to be a lot of money that Jewel's going to have to pay. Because ever since you started selling them, kind of like to deal with Qualcomm and Apple, where Apple lost to Qualcomm. Qualcomm... Uh, believe it or not, were one of the first people that invented the um, the touchscreen. And Apple took that from them. And Apple lost that court case. How much did Qualcomm pay Apple? Or Apple pay Qualcomm? Well, let's see. I know we're, we're getting too sidetracked here. This would be a Twitch stream. Um, Here's what they settled for. Let's see. Oh, wait. No, that's CNET. I don't want to see that. That's a CNN of news. Uh, I cannot find the amount of money. Wasn't it undisclosed? Like an exuberant amount of money? They lost though, but I can't find the amount of money. It was just an absurd amount of money. Like they settled, and I cannot remember how much it was for. It was an, it was an absurd amount of money. Okay, all right. So now this one, this one here. Um, what what's wrong? What happened? Someone complained about something. Is there a way to remove slow mode? Slow mode should be removed if um, if you're a member. It shouldn't be a thing. Can anybody confirm that? Um, if one of you guys have a little rank, I'm uh, not a wrench, but like a rank next to your name, you just try to tap two letters. That's not going to work for you, Bree. You have a, you have a wrench. Um, yeah, it was, it was, it was an absurd amount of money, like ridiculous. No, not going to work for you, Dan. No, it's got to work for somebody else that doesn't have a wrench. It just says it's on his own.
Okay. Um. No, there you go. So 772 just did it. Test, test. He did it back to back. You can do it. Yeah, it just says slow mode. It just you it just ignore it. Yeah, there you go. Zero call. It doesn't it doesn't apply to you if you have a, a rank. Um it just it, it may say that, but it's not on for you. Which you it just ignores. Anyway, okay, so this one here is fucking nuts. Believe me, I did not think that this was real, but it very much is. Adults with cognitive disabilities more than twice as likely to use these cigarettes. <laughs> I don't even know if I want to read this article to you. It's kind of like the headline says it all. The headline does. Right? Like, I could sit here and read this 900 paragraph shit to you, but um, this is truly a real study. So what they're saying is people that are mentally incapacitated are more likely to vape than someone that is totally normal. How is this a test? Who tested this shit? I swear to God, this is real. I'm just gonna put this in chat. Um, I think that is so fascinating. And how did you get that study? That's what everybody's saying is, do they think that everybody is retarded? Like, I, 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 I don't have a lot of words for this. Ray Ray says, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'm not going to put your information out there, Ray Ray. I'm not going to do it, brother. But yo, this is real. The rapid growth of e-cigarette use is a major public health problem in the United States with significant attention on use among adolescents and young adults. Although manufacturers of e-cigarettes tout their products as safe alternatives to cigarette smoking, research has shown that e-cigarettes can be hazardous as traditional tobacco products but appeal to those who were never cigarette smokers. In the first study to assess national use of e-cigarettes among adults with disability, what the fuck? <laughs> like, what? Let me read that one more time. In the first study to assess national use of e-cigarettes among adults with disabilities. Okay, all right, hold on. Don't you think that you would test it on... See, I feel I'm going to offend so many people. Don't... Shouldn't you have went the other way first and then went that way? And like... Not really focus too much on that. <laughs> like, don't waste any money in that field. Researchers found that adults with disabilities were twice as likely to use e-cigarettes, 8.4% than adults without disabilities. What? Okay, let, let me stop. Let me stop this shit right here. First off, let me tell you something. In order to get this test, ask me, ask Bree, ask everybody that vapes. Don't get a classroom. Oh, God. No matter what I say is going to be wrong here. Ask a... I'm going to leave this up for interpretation, okay? You should ask a bunch of... People. People without disabilities <laughs> and then how do you test wait and then how do you test each one of those individuals as um having a cognitive disability because what is a cognitive disability right like let, let, let's let's go a little bit further here right like let's like is depression a cognitive disability? Let's just see. That's Alzheimer's. That's the first thing it comes up with. All right, here we go. 
this is just terrible. I feel so shitty for just reading this to you. <laughs> like, I feel like a piece of shit right now. What are, I'm just reading. Look, I'm the messenger. That's all I'm doing. What are examples of cognitive disabilities? Some types of cognitive disabilities are Joe Biden. That's a joke. But don't. Nope. Okay. Aphasia sounds like asphyxiation. Autism. Attention deficit syndrome. Dyslexia. What the fuck is reading letters backwards got to do with vaping? <laughs> Nothing. Uh, Diascalacalacalia, which I think is something to do with crying. Uh, intellectual and memory loss. These types are just, these types of cognitive disabilities are just the beginning. There are many more types of cognitive disabilities. I want to look up what this one is. Let's just see real quick what that is. Oh, Diascalacalacalia is a math learning disability that impairs. So someone that has a problem with reading math is twice as likely to start vaping than somebody that has no problem doing algebra. I just want to put that out there. Based off that study, that's where we're at. Guys, I don't know who comes up with this shit. I don't know. Well, I can tell you who came up with this one. I'm going to tell you, Mr. Fucking Smart Guy over here. I bet you the guy that did this has got a cognitive disability. <laughs> Sorry, I'm making too much jokes. Uh, let me go back to this. This got me sweating because I feel kind of guilty reading it. Previous studies have found that e-cigarette use is associated with a greater risk of cardiovascular disease, depression, and adverse. Depression? Really? I find the exact opposite. I am no longer depressed. Also, smokers with disabilities are like, what the fuck with the disabilities? <laughs> Oh my God, I feel like this article is discriminatory. Also, smokers with disabilities are less likely to receive advice from their physicians to stop smoking. Why? Because they feel bad? Hey, listen. <laughs> we know your mind is fucked up. We're not going to tell you what to do to be better because you do you, boo boo. <laughs> is that the way that these doctors look at it? They're like, you know what? They already got it fucked up. They've been bullied. Let them smoke. Is that, is that the mindset? Guys, I posted the link. I don't have many comments. I think that that is bewildering. That that is a legitimate test and study. Because what does that do? What does that do to fix the situation? Okay. I'm just glad you guys get my sense of humor because I feel like there would be people that would be way too upset. Look at Jay still pinned up there with that 99.99, you sexy fuck. Um, I don't know. I don't think that ever goes away. That's just going to stay up there all day. Okay, so that that's fascinating, right? But here comes the puncher. The best article that I have that I could find is absolutely truthful. And it kind of saddens me in a way because I didn't do the bait and switch. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Uh, maybe because of integrity. Maybe because of dignity. Maybe because I just care. Maybe because I follow laws. Maybe because I'm a law-abiding citizen. Maybe because I have a heart. Maybe because I care about vaping. Well, this next one. This next one's a rough one. And it's true. <sighs> TikTok is being used by vape sellers marketing the teen. Sellers are offering flavored disposable vapes, parent-proof, discreet packaging, no ID checks. TikTok has a vaping problem. Although a 2019 U.S. law made it illegal to sell or market e-cigarettes to anyone under the age of 21, TikTok videos feature top brands with disposable e-cigarettes and vape for sale have been relatively easy to find on the app. These videos set to popular and upbeat music clearly target a teenage customer base with offers. Let me just say this right here. So if you use TikTok and you're 40 years old, you are in a state of denial because even this website says that it's designed for teenagers. So you old as shit and using TikTok, you need to get with the fucking times. And that includes Bree's father because he goes on there trying to spit game and pick oh, up chicks. I'm just saying that this just clearly tells you you got it all fucked up. 
uh, uh, customer base with offers no, now unauthorized cartridge flavors, which we all know anything that is closed in a pod that is a flavor is illegal. That's it. That's it. If it's sealed up, it cannot be flavored. That's it. Some sellers even promote their discreet packaging services where the vapes they ship to customers can be hidden from parents. Prying eyes being... By, wow, this is just fucked up. By being placed under the packages, stuffing, or tucked inside other products like makeup bags or fuzzy slippers. Interest in flavor disposable vapes that appeal, appeal to teens and young adults in particular has been growing in the wake of the FDA's. Let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you right now. It's starting today. It's starting right now. But you got to make sure you timestamp this. If you find a company that is doing this, you let me know. I'll expose them. I'll get all the information about the company, about the individual selling it, and I will legitimately report that person. I will do everything within my legal boundaries to report that piece of shit. And I'm sure with enough of the vape community, we get that account shut down. It's because it's breaking the law and TikTok doesn't need to be held under another microscope again. So if you find out about this, you let me know. But it's odd that we see this with TikTok because if you look on YouTube, right, there's a lot of kids now vaping on YouTube. Kids. It's not okay. It's not okay. It's not. I don't know if I agree with the 21 thing, but I do agree with the 18 or not. I'll, I'll say 19. Well, I agree that if you fight for this country, you should be able to smoke weed, shoot heroin. I agree that you should do whatever the fuck you want to do, right? That's you. You, If you're going to go to war and you could possibly die tomorrow, yeah, you should be able to smoke a joint before you do so. Uh, that's just me, though. Uh, but the fact that you have people like Dash Vape Channel getting deleted, right? And then you got these kids doing this shit. Then you got these companies that are selling to these kids. How were they selling it? How were the kids checking out? Like, did they put a certain code inside of the... I feel like I need... You know who I need to get with my niece? Because my niece is big on TikTok. It's got like 1.2 million people. I'm sure my niece knows somebody. And then that really begs the question is... So they go to this website, right? That is fuzzyslippers.com. And they know that if they buy the slippers with the extra cotton insert, that is a jewel pod. <sighs> Do you realize how many laws you're breaking there? You you really want to get into this? I mean, I could just, I could fire off about five laws. Maybe six, right? And I'm sure there's some some commerce laws you're breaking. Right? There, there's a reason why when you create these things on eBay and all these different sites that you have to be descriptive as to what is inside the package. There's laws for that. That's sad. That's bad. It's bad. But when you look at YouTube and you look through these different channels, the problem you have with reporting them, right, is you kind of raise a red flag to all other vape channels. Unless, of course, you have someone old as shit like me who looks way past 18, as much as I'd love to say I'm 18 and I'm not. Uh, but it's crazy. But as much as shit may come off of vaping, right, like less companies use or not less companies, less platforms use vaping like the teenagers and stuff. It will never take the light off of vaping. The damage is done. It's done. Uh, I don't know. How, to how do you restart a TikTok? Okay. You got to watch from the beginning. Click this one. Look for it, so it's 
one search. I didn't even scroll. Let a bitch try me, move, hammer time, uh. pass the mirror, move, feel my fine, let a bitch try me, move, hammer time, uh. pass the mirror, move. Well, there's one. There's a lot. Well, there's apparently a lot of them. It shows how they hide them for packaging. Wow, this is bad. So, um... You just saw it. That was just Bree searching in 10 seconds on TikTok. And then you wonder, right? People say me doing drama on my channel causes problems. Send that to me. <laughs> Send it to me. I tried with you. She the vape. It's more than like the sleeping in and getting high with you. I tried with you. Your local female plug. For the spaceship, now I'm a space cadet. Big white mansion in my habitat. Ain't a lot of stains like a lace tag. Fuck a witch bitch, have a ring set. For the spaceship, now I'm a space cadet. There you go. Puff Bar Cafe. I didn't know it was that easy for them to do this. Wow, 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 dude. Wow, wow, wow. There's thousands of these videos. Wow, 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 wow. Well, they're not buying candy bars online. Don't get it fucked up, Cody. They're not. That's just them buying candy bars. Ray, Ray, you sexy bitch. Thank you for the hundred beans, brother man. Um... That's Bree searching in two minutes. It's crazy. Like, how how much are the kids paying for this? 30 bucks? They're, oh, they're definitely being upcharged. You know, think about it. You're buying three puff bars. What is that, four bucks a pop? You probably in, There's three stuff. of them in there, so you figure that's four, eight, 12 bucks. And then probably, probably 70 bucks, 60, 70 bucks. Bill Summer, I get that, but the problem is, is that makes companies look very, very, very bad. It, it, instead of trying to fix a problem, it's easier to ban the problem to make it go away. But what happens there is people like me and you suffer because of companies like this. That's bad, dude. 
that's bad. I don't, I don't know what to say. I, I, That's the article, and there's some proof for you. And then again, that's just three videos. I'm sure you could find a thousand of them. So, All I did was look up Puff Bar. That's it. I didn't type in discreet shipping or hide it. I just looked up Puff Bar. It's probably even worse if you look up the Hula Hoop. Regardless of any apps, if a kid wants to do something they're going to do, why are we punished for it? Uh, no, Katie, it's a great point. Like, think about it as, as, as kids, right? Look, I was not a saint as a kid. I started smoking cigarettes when I was 11. 11. No shit, 11 years old. Uh, but people that smoked regular cigarettes weren't penalized for it. It's just that the problem is, is it's a simple answer to that. It really is. It's a very, very simple answer. And it's not an answer people want to hear. The reason why it gets attacked is because, first off, there's not enough of money to go to court. No corporation and vaping wants to fight against that. There's no big lobbyist that's going to say, hey, listen, we're not that. There's a lot of money in it, but the companies that have all made the money in it don't give a fuck to go fight against that. Like tobacco did, right? There's all the big companies for all, all these years to charge $40 for 30 mil, $60, Philip Rock, all these companies that made all that money, if they would have all got together and, and and literally every single company, if someone said to them, hey, listen, man, let's just, let's go back a couple years and I make a video calling out all companies and everybody shared that. Everybody shared it. Hey, I won't buy your fucking juice unless you do what Jay Hayes says. Right? Not trying to be a sheep, just saying all companies get together and all companies put twenty fucking thousand dollars together. Ten thousand ten thousand dollars. You have how many companies? And then or do one better. If you own a shop, you put thirty percent down of what you would make in that shop a month. Real simple. Thirty percent. You're not really gonna make any money, but you'll be able to rebuy the product so you're good. Right? Thirty percent profit margin. It's one month. Thirty percent. Every fucking shop in the United States. Every fucking shop. If you don't, I will not buy from you. 30%. And then the bigger companies, still 30%. Cut wood. Philip Rock. Seven days. Loaded. 30% of one month. You get people like Johnny Cochran. That's a criminal lawyer. Also dead. Uh, but... Johnny Cochran representing you. Oh, you're going to fucking win. Oh, you're you're going to have such a strong team of lawyers. Uh, instead of these little baby, little baby, little baby um, court cases here, there, here, there. 30%. That's how you could have fixed this problem right there. And if you lost that, I guess chalk it up, man. Because that's a lot of fucking money. If if you would have went back to me in 2017, it's so 30%. You have to realize back then, 2017, I was doing about 70 grand a month. That's not profit, right? Obviously, you have to buy the product. So you take about 75 to 80% of that off. The rest is profit. 30% just one month. That's one shop. How many shops you got in Jersey? How many shops you got in Cali? How many shops you got in New York, Florida? Yo, the money would be insane like holy shit i i i'm just gonna roughly say probably a billion dollars it'll be well over a million well maybe not a billion maybe i'd I'd say probably 150 million that's a lot of money a lot of money yep one massive case instead of these little tiny ones that's never gonna work man it's a little tiny case. It's never going to fuck. I mean, you may get a landslide in there somewhere, but all of them got together. Woo! Oh. You're going to have like 12 lawyers. You're going to have a better chance than what the small baby shit we did. I don't th- no, I don't think he's a lawyer. He's just a great debater. I don't, I don't know what he's got a degree in. I'm sure if we paid him money, he'd help somehow. <laughs> like, can you just talk for us, please? Right? 
Can you recite laws? Since you do all this research, you're not even a lawyer. You're just the person that speaks for us. We'll give you a hundred grand. Yeah, here's a hundred grand. Oh, Ben Shapiro would fire off. <laughs> Fuck a lawyer. Just get Ben Shapiro up there to talk. You know all the percentages. The laws and how one is and, and <laughs> what guy walked the street what day? <laughs> how he walked? Oh, yes. I don't know, guys. That would have fixed it. But I'm, you could fall on me and say, Jay, why didn't you do that? I don't know. I didn't think about it till now. Plus, even if he did it... No yeah, even if I did it, whether... I, I'd say, look, even when we did these these little... Uh, I don't want to call them rallies, but these, these hearings we had in New Jersey. We had 200 and something shops, right? Only 20 shops showed up in Trenton. They didn't care. They didn't care. Because they're making money. It's three years down the road. Who gives a shit? Who cares? Now everybody fucking cares because it's going to affect you. And when FDA starts walking into shops and, and, and the, the state health department starts walking in shops and shutting them down because they can't be open, you're going to care. Once it starts to affect you is when you're going to give a shit. Think about the future, man. Don't be rip. Don't be a rip. Oh, that, there's some truth to that, MDW. Uh, he said, no, 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 you don't fix it by lawsuits fighting it. You fix it by paying representatives off. No, there, there's truth in that, and there's there's some truth in that, but you're better off firing off with a real good lawsuit. A good lobbyist, I agree there. Um, but lawsuits can change the test of time. There's, do I really need to go through the Supreme Court cases? <sighs> you can, you can. If this would have made it to Supreme Court, we might have had a different outcome. And what takes you to get there? Money. And a lot of advocacy. A lot of people protesting. Big cases. That can change rules. No, not can. That does change rules. Okay, so Shapiro is a real lawyer. What does he practice? What What field? Shop sold the puff bar. The Trump's kid should have to forfeit all of their business because they ruined it. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, whatever kid is whatever whatever puff bar company is responsible for selling it to Donald Trump's kid. Well, no, that's not really where it all started. But, but that's where it took a sharp left turn. Oh yeah. <laughs> It's too, Mag, Mag Deal, you don't understand. It's too late. If I got on Joe Rogan, it wouldn't do it. It doesn't do anything. There's nothing that can be done now to fix it. I don't think people understand that. I mean, you can still do a lawsuit. Whether or not companies want to put that much money in, talk to Vaporesso. Say, hey, Vaporesso, why don't you put, you know, all that money you spend on PMTAs, why don't you put uh $40 million down and get the best legal team in the world? You got all this money, right? <laughs> I don't know. Their PMTAs aren't going to get approved, so it doesn't even fucking matter. They just threw that money in, in the ocean. That's what they did. That's all. Yeah, you'll like this topic, Joshua. You'll like this. Um, Yeah, people talking about the banning of, of shipping and vapes. Let me tell you something. They ship drugs illegally in the mail, okay? That's a felony. <laughs> Fuck vapes. <laughs> like that, you, you going to jail for that. Receiver and shipper. Like, don't don't even get me started on. I'm not, we ain't gonna get into that. I tell you what, I was talking yesterday on the Twitch. Those of you that haven't subscribe to my Twitch for my daily vlogs, by the way, uh, if you like this type of platform. But I'll go ahead and put that in chat. One of my mods, just go ahead and just do a copy and paste for the Twitch channel. 
Uh, keep in mind that I do play games at night and I beg people to give me money because I have to make a living somehow. Uh, but I, I was talking about this yesterday on the Twitch stream. I was going to run for president for 2024, but I've kind of revamped that. And I decided there's a certain state that I'm going to run for governor. And then I'm just going to make vapes legal in that state with an executive order. Just like how they make weed legal in states, even though it's federally illegal, I'm going to do that for vapes. I, and every vapor is going to move to my state. I'm going to tax the shit out of you, but you're going to vape in my state totally legal. We'll even have a vape program to help you open up businesses. You got to do the HTTPS. Yeah, it don't work here. Thank you, Eddie. Eddie Bones. There you go. Um, <sighs> yeah, I don't. I don't know if there's a way to fix the vaping situation where we're at right now. The, the fact that Biden kind of is reversing everything. I can't I can't see him swaying in the direction of of vaping in a positive light. I can't I can't see that happening. And then I don't even know how that would work because there's already an ex, like there's already a judge's decision based off of that FDA. So I I, I don't I'm, I have I am not that good with laws or politics to really comment. I'm sure there's a way that it could be overridden, right? I, I'm, 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 I'm sure there's a way. You appeal that, then you appeal that again. Then you, it's gonna take money though. That's not gonna be five bucks. We just gotta tell Biden that Trump really hates vaping. <laughs> I'll just make it legal. I think it's nuts with the TikTok situation. I think that's crazy. And how easy it was for us to find. Like it wasn't even hidden. There wasn't a hidden hat. So these kids are like doing this makeup with a certain coupon code to get vapes. Not even. They know that they're buying a puff bar. It just comes with random stuff. The way that they fix that situation is just banning it at the customs. As soon as it comes in from China, because all those little envelopes I showed that second clip is all priority mail, so they're being shipped from the states. Think of the news. Have yeah, you know, you know, if the news gets a hold of that, oh my god! So, but like, have you noticed that your teen has more fluffy socks than usual? Puff bar could be the culprit. <laughs> No, that's the only way. No, Jonathan, you got it mixed up. It's the other way around. As he said, if you can show scientific studies that show that it's okay, um, he won't do it. Not the other way around. So he'll ban it until you could show otherwise. Did you guys see the taxes he's putting on guns already for having extra magazines with extra capacity? You voted for him. Oh, I didn't see that. You didn't see the Biden situation with the Second Amendment? No, I watched Fox. It didn't talk about And Jay Hayes, when you have shitty parents buying drugs, drinking, and partying with their kids, you have parents buying vapes for them as well as you can't fix shitty parents' face. Um, yeah, I think a lot of these kids are just buying it anyway, uh, with or without the parents. I mean, especially if it's fuzzy slippers. That blows my mind, man. I don't, I don't have much to say about that.
That's what I'm saying. If the well, Nicholas, if there's one on YouTube doing that, report that shit, man. Do that little triple dot situation uh, report. Uh, all my videos get flagged with harmful and dangerous content, so they need to be flagged with it. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, if, if you go back to when I, look, I'm 41 years old. When I was 15, I could go to, like, a Krausers and buy cigarettes. Even though the age to smoke was 18, they they didn't give a shit. You know, um, is it right or wrong? Yeah, it's wrong, but I guess you could say it's it's the uh, part of growing up, right? But what should happen with these companies that are doing this shit be fined. Loss of license. When they start taking away your money, you're going to care a whole lot more. You're going to care more. If you just let it keep happening and you just ban the whole system. Well, look, if you guys see me next year a lot skinnier, you know that I went back to smoking cigarettes and now I'm doing reviews on them. Damn, Jay, you look good as shit. What you been doing? Smoking. No, TikTok has got a lot less restrictions uh, when, it, when it's compared to YouTube. A lot less restrictions. A lot. Like, kids could vape on there. They don't give a shit. Who's 50 year old kids has a mail every day. I call BS all this. There is more behind than I think about. I don't know, Robert Sell. You just saw those three videos I just posted. They're showing you how they ship them out. You also, you also have to realize Robert, realize, Robert, that there's a lot of kids home now, right? So kids will be getting mail at 15 because they're ordering everything online. They can't go to shops or they can't go to stores or. They'll tell their parents that there's a certain pair of socks that they want that can only be bought online. I'm just using that as a reference. It could be, I don't know, Q-tips. I don't know kids that buy Q-tips, but you get the point. Yeah, probably the, the owner or CEO of TikTok owns Relax Vape Company. It's all Chinese, right? They're all in cahoots. You're getting bamboozled. How do we know it's kids? Well, the first off, the name of the company is Puff Bar, right? Puff bars essentially are legal. So what more do you need? Right? And TikTok is designed for teenagers. I don't think anybody would disagree with that. The only people that are going to disagree with it are old people that are in denial that want to be young. TikTok is designed for teenagers. That's what it's designed for. I don't think that's up for debate. No, it's not. No, 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 Robert, you got it mixed up. It's not kids sending out the mail. It's the companies like Puff Bar sending it out to kids, not kids shipping it. Like, there's a reason why you don't see that. Yeah. 
you know, that that's that is true. Cody thing again, think about it when we were kids. You know, you would do shit to uh, to get things that you normally wouldn't be able to get at a ShopRite or a Pathmark or a Food Town. Nobody has any idea what those three are. Grocery stores. That's also a good question, Cody. Why wouldn't an adult secretly buy a vape? <laughs> That's a good question. No, not these companies. No, Robert. You're you're you you have too much of a progressive way of looking at it. No, I I, I do not agree with that. That it could be paved moms making them videos? No. Why would they do it on TikTok? Why aren't they doing it on Facebook and Instagram and everywhere else? Someone found them on YouTube, but I disagree. It's not parents against vaping. No fucking way. That's too much of a conspiracy theory for me. I'm going to look at it in the most barest of, of necessities. Oh, that there's absolutely truth in that as well, Free Fallen. Parents handing out credit cards to stop the whining while on lockdown? Absolutely. Oh, here, just shut up and go buy what you want. No, this is a teen girl that is making bundles with puff bars and selling them. She shows how she preps her bundles. Go to her for running a small business, and the only reason I'm hesitant. Because it's not that easy, Robert. It's not. It's it's not that it's not that easy. What you're saying, cops do a video like that to get names. That that's not gonna because cops cops have better things to do than to create an account on TikTok and try to entrap people into buying things. That's also illegal. <laughs> Um, <laughs> there's, there's that, <laughs> um, no, you can't do that. I mean, you could, but that ain't going to hold up well in court. I agree. I agree. But uh, all I could do is recommend you to report those channels when you see people doing it. I'm just saying, Robert, you could argue it all you want, man. I don't think anybody in here is going to say that it's what you what you believe. I, I would like to believe that a majority of the people in here feel the same way that I do, that uh, uh, maybe they don't give a shit. Maybe they just care about themselves vaping until it gets taken away. Then they'll care about those videos. But I would say that a majority of people believe exactly what it shows. You know, uh, perception is reality. And I see it as someone... Why would you secretly... Why are there multiple accounts doing this? I mean, you could, you could interpret that however you want. I'll look that up. Hold on a second. Let me pull it up. Give me a second. Oh, here you go. Here's, here's one for you right here on YouTube. Oh, this is fun. Hi guys, it's Lily. Welcome to or back to my channel. So this will be, um, I believe, my first YouTube video on this channel. Um, so I'm just going to be 
pre-packing orders because I haven't gotten orders yet. I'm just going to be showing you what I'm selling and um, pre-packaging um, the bundles that I have made. So I just wanted to show you guys the process of me doing this. Just get started with the video. Or um, anything. Because... Um, so, a mini hand sanitizer, cute and a good idea with the, um, Corona, those are just a really good body, um, that is the, um, Plain Corona bundle, super cute, and yeah. Okay, now are the bundles that everybody um, likes. This is a Corona Puff bundle. This comes with the same things as the Corona bundle, except I added in a Puff bar because I thought this was just a really good idea with the um, Corona going around and everything. So you would, you know, get a few goodies, you know, a mask, hand sanitizer, and then also a puff bar so i have these ones already made so i'm just going to show you the so robert you think that that video there is the cut you think that's fake you think that's a mom making that video i don't know what more you need man Here you go. So report away, man. Here's the video. Report away. It's not a matter. Of, of course, it's illegal, Robert. That's the point I'm trying to make. Is of course it's illegal. It's illegal for her to even have that product, like the puff bar itself with the flavor inside of it. You can't buy flavored sticks anymore, anywhere. There's a reason why Jewel only makes tobacco and menthol now. This is what kids are doing. That's what they're doing. I don't know how they got their hands on all of them. Um, I mean, she can't be a day over 15. What's HQDE pods? Look at this, man. Look at this. There you go, the first unboxing. I'm so excited. And I'm gonna be comparing them to watermelon. It's kind of cute. Great. Oh. The tasting part. Are they actually <laughs> How young this girl is doing this puff bar review. It's pretty good. Now I'm gonna taste. Same thing, you know. Let's use the for eyebrow. Okay, but this one just sounds so good. I just love it. And this is twenty thousand views on it. Oh my goodness. That's a kid. He doesn't have any facial hair. Oh my gosh. Yo. What? What is he, seven? I don't know how old kids are. Wow. I'm telling you guys, man.
That's a problem. I could see YouTube shutting down those accounts. You know, that happened to, uh, what was his name? Johnny Fox? Johnny Vapes? Johnny, the kid that was doing the uh, the Puff Bars. What the hell was his name? Tommy Smokes, Tommy Smokes right? Or Tommy Johnny Jones? Smokes? Or Johnny Smokes or some Tommy shit? Tokes? It was something. Johnny Tokes? It was something that rhymed. I think it was Johnny Smokes. Donnie Smokes, that's it. There you go. Yeah, so we're just looking that all over again. Wow. This is bad. This is bad shit, man. Just look up Puff Bar Bundles. And then you'll pull up. Here's a search, and you see a bunch of kids vaping. That's bad, man. I, I don't know what to say. I, I don't. There's not a lot of words right now. It's just a bunch of kids. You know, it's tough because you can use the argument that it should be, you know, parenting should be going on. It's tough at this day and age, man, with kids that got phones, everybody got social media. If you don't let them vape in the house, they're going to go to the friend's house and then film and then upload it. Then you have to find their social media. I don't know. I don't I don't know, man. I don't know. Well, yeah, it's more in the light now because you got kids posting them on YouTube. Yep, that's it. Ban the pods. I was I've been so strong on just banning pods. You remove forget pods. Forget pods, Robert. Let's just talk about puff bars. Or like uh 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 well they are banned though. That's the problem. Is the flavored ones that these kids are all vaping on are all banned. Like in the United States, how they're getting them. I would only assume from like those TikTok videos, those YouTube videos, because a store cannot legally sell. I, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. And they're young. So how they're getting them has got to be the parents. Disposables are banned. The pre-filled ones with flavors are banned. They are banned. I cannot legally sell any flavor 
So let, let me let me tell you the states that they're banned. Ready? New York, New Jersey, Massachusetts, basically all the Northeast. Um, I'm not sure about Michigan anymore. Washington, California. Well, I, I don't know about California. Certain jurisdictions in California. You guys aren't getting it. FDA made a law. Like I went over this law. You cannot buy flavored pods. If places are selling it, they're selling it illegally. With juices inside of it. You guys, you guys got it all fucked up. I'm, t I'm telling you, look it up, man. Look it up. I did a whole inside, not inside the minds, a whole live over this. Just because you can get, guys, I get it that you could buy them. I'm not, you're misinterpreting what I'm saying. You're, you're totally missing what I'm saying to you. Just because you could buy that, you could buy crack online and get it shipped to your house. That don't make it legal. That just means that you got it. It is illegal to have a flavored pod. Period. That's it. it. You guys are not getting it. You're not, you guys are not understanding what I'm saying. Oh my God. <laughs> you cannot buy flavored pods anywhere. Anywhere. Legally. Just because you could go to the store to see it doesn't mean that that's legal. Right, pods, pods, pods. Like where you could take the thing out and put it in, that is illegal, period. Period, end of story. It, it doesn't, but then then going back to what I was saying about the Northeast, disposables are banned in all of those states. Like, it depends on which state, like, New Jersey, disposable, or pods. Federally, it's pods. Like, anything where you, like a jewel, great example. Or, uh, what other Chinese company has pods that have flavors in it? Relax, great example. Relax, uh, or Relks. They have pods that have juice in it. That's illegal. It doesn't matter where you're at. It's illegal. Disposables, depending on the state that you're in, all of Northeast has it banned. Um, and then the states I just listed, Washington. I, I'm not sure about California. I, I want to say yes. I know San Francisco's got a ban on it, but I don't know about the whole state. Yeah, I don't know about PA either. I, I think PA is disposables and pods. Well, pods are across the board. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where you're at. Juno, yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Juno's had uh, the pods with the juice in them. Man, I can't think of a lot of them. Yeah, but well, what you'll find though, a lot of those jewel pods that you'll find are either clones or they're old as shit, right? The flavored ones. But uh, that's a great example. That's why Jewel flipped from having uh, the mango and the fruit medley. I'm trying to think of ones they sold. Cucumber. I can't, I can't remember the other Jewels. But that's the reason why they stopped doing it with pods. Disposables is a workaround except for the states that have disposables banned. Well, they're, they're technically, Josh, they're all illegal because none of them, like, for instance, puff bars, they're, 
they've gotten warning letters from the FDA. So, uh, <laughs> technically everything vape related is illegal, right? Whether or not a company like FDA has been in here, even though things were, well, that when we were open, uh, when things were legal in a sense that they're not really enforcing it. Right. So whether or not they'll ever enforce it after this pandemic, probably not during, I can't see how they would do it during, but just because of the low staff, um, it, it will all be off the market. Views. I don't know what the views is. What's the views, Bray? Bray. Bray. She's zoning. I don't know what a views is. What's a views? That's a, that's a, I don't know what that is. What's a views? V-U-S-E pod. What is it? Pre-filled pods. Auto? Is that what we're looking at? Oh, it's a disposable like a blue. Uh, okay, so what I see here is, yeah, this is a great example. If you look at Views, right? Views only has tobacco and menthol. They can't have flavors because that's illegal. You understand? Federally illegal. It's not so when you start going to a lot of these states where they'll either have an executive order or they'll have, and it's primarily Northeast and some on the West Coast. I'm sure there's some in the middle but is when you start seeing the disposables that are also factored into it. But that is a system like a jewel, the views. Yeah, again, you'll find, look, you'll even find places in New Jersey that sell jewel, that sell, like what Michael was saying about New York, you'll see places that do it. That doesn't make it legal. Just because places are doing it, there's places that stayed open during a pandemic. That's not legal, but they did it anyway. Not just vape, it could be anything. It could have been a football store. It could have been, you know, gyms. It didn't matter. We can't get flavored pods here in North Carolina, but can have disposables. Yeah, I, I don't know about North Carolina. I don't know. I know that flavored pods are uh, illegal. I should have been a little bit more specific about pods, but, uh, and puff bars. I, I know puff bars, <laughs> dude, they got a, they got an FDA warning letter. Like, hold on. Let me pull it up. Hold on. Here. The, here's, here's proof for you guys. You want proof? I'm going to give you proof. FDA notifies companies, including Puff Bar, to remove flavored disposable e-cigarettes and youth appealing liquids from market for not having required authorization. This just goes to show you that it is illegal. This is on FDA's website right here. This was July 20th, 2020. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration issued warning letters notifying the companies, including Cool Clouds Distribution, doing business as Puff Bar, to remove their flavor, disposable e-cigarettes, and youth appealing e-liquid products from the market. They do not have required. That's your PMTA. Um, here you go. So HQD Tech USA LLC. My, oh, I remember the Miley's jammy. These are not legally allowed to be sold. If you find them, they're illegal. Like, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man. I, I don't, I mean, I regardless of whether or not a place is selling it. They're not supposed to be sold. I don't know. There are stores selling North Carolina cigars for seven bucks a pack by my mom's house. That that's half the price of New York price. It doesn't mean it's legal. 
They got caught, paid a fine, and reopened again and still doing it. Right. Um, you you can, guys, if you just look at, like, FDA warning letters, you can see what I could even show you the warning letter to Puff Bar. There you go. Cool Clouds Distribution Incorporated doing business as Puff Bar. July 20th, 2020. Here's your owner, Yumai Abu Bakr. There you go. August 8th, 2016. Our review of the website puffbar.com revealed that you sell or distribute UNS products while explicitly or implicitly representing the products present a low risk of tobacco, produced or smoke, whatever. And then here's all the little things they have on their website. The laws, again, it's not supposed to be on the market. But then again, neither are drippers and tanks and vapes and, well, just about everything. I mean, I, I don't know. You guys, here, here's, here though, here's those of you that saying that they're still legal. Here, that's for your puff bars. Twenty twenty two, what happened in twenty 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 one? We just bypass it like it didn't exist. Yeah, that's true. That's and that that's even the case for stores that were open, you know, um stores that were open the past year. Well, the past year's a little bit rough because they're breaking so many laws being open that it ain't even got nothing to do with vaping. Yeah, I you know, John, that's a, Josh, that's a good question. I if you if the pot is pre filled and you can refill it. Well, it still wouldn't work in a majority of the states that I just mentioned, but. So, so Mike, can you go to a store in New York and buy a flavored anything? A flavored pod, disposable. Or uh, 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 like a, a pod that is pre-filled. Like even drippers that you see coming out are technically illegal. Just the way that it is. If you go to some bodegas, they still have them. Which which one, Mike? The 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 jewel pods or disposables and flavors. It's been said by Jay for some time, anything made after 2016 is illegal. You know, even prior to that, 2007 is technically illegal. Um, you, you could, I don't want to say you'll get away with more stuff made before 2016, but anything after 2016 is super illegal, if that makes sense. <laughs> even though there's not really a, a such thing as that, but it, it's all legal. It all is. And the people selling puff bars and shit. Look, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Mostly jewel flavored. So tobacco and menthol. What's up, Tim K? 
The play, I'm telling you, I, I, I'm telling you, the places that these kids are buying these from are not places. that are allowed to sell them. We'll just say that. That's the best way I could put it. No, they have flavors too. Oh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. If I go to the 7-Eleven by me, I don't, I don't know if they have flavor, Jewel. I don't think so. No, that law's in effect. No, Josh, that, that law is in effect. Ever since September, people had one year. I can't remember the date in September from 2019 till 2020. No. Yes. Right. No. September of 2020, and then one year passed. If you submit a PMTA, you can have it on a market till it either gets declined or accepted. If it gets declined, it's illegal. If you didn't submit, it's illegal. It's that simple. So essentially, I have a year to unload. Um, well, you should have unloaded it all already, but if you submitted something, you have a year to unload all of what you submitted. Best way to explain it. So even coming is like Vapor Rest Off. They did truly submit a PMTA, uh, which they said that they did. They could essentially sell those for a year until you can't sell them in a state like New Jersey, though, or New York, or again, primarily Northeast. You can't sell them there. I, I, I guess technically you can because it's you no know, New York. New Jersey law stipulates that it has to be approved by the FDA. So just because it's being accepted doesn't mean that it's approved. And a lot of people thought that these companies that are saying they've been accepted by the FDA, that does not mean approved. That just means that they they got your application. That's all that that means. Yeah, uh, I don't know about a cherry dusty. They do make an apple. Um, not probably, Cody. They all will be declined. Every single PMTA you see will be declined. Shit, I'd put money on that. I, I'd, I'd put money on that. I can't see any company passing. I mean, I, I could be being a negative-ass Nancy about it, but I don't see anything passing. I mean, you may get by with, like, some hardware, like some mod. If Vaporesso gets a mod approved, great. Technically, they'll be the only ones allowed to sell mods in the United States if they get it approved. Legally, that's not saying that you still won't be able to buy a smoke in a store. Legally, Vaporessa would be the only ones. Yeah, yeah I think uh, the shop 808, I think there are some states like New Jersey, you have to have a vape license and a tobacco license. So two of them. Uh, well, we, we actually have four on the wall. Uh, but so you you have to have that, right? There are some states where you don't need a tobacco license. I am not sure as which states they are where you could just have a regular business license and sell. But then a lot of the states have implemented a, a vapor license, which is like a tobacco license that you just pay yearly. Uh, Tim, they said that they sent it to me. They sent me this guy. Which I haven't done the review for yet. Well, I've done it. I just haven't edited it or uploaded it. 
a flavor is banned in New York, right? And in Massachusetts, and in you know, I think New Hampshire. Well, New Hampshire's got a ridiculous tax on it, something like that. But people don't realize that vaping has been illegal for a very long time. It's just more specific. But I don't know what that, how that applies with Biden. I don't, I don't, because he's removing all the shit from Trump. So, if you don't, you you don't need a tobacco license in Florida, or Georgia, but you need a vapor license in Georgia now. There you go. Oh, Vermont is the high one. 8% sales tax. Yeah, there it is. Um, The oldest nicotine that I've ever used would be the Dorky Patty from Good Life Vapor. Uh, 18 milligrams. It was about three to four years old and still tastes fine. I don't know where the bottle is. I think I tasted it last year and I don't know where the bottle went since then, but the bottle's old. 2014? Most expensive vape. Are you talking about a mod? Are you talking about uh, retail price or talking about what I paid? Two different numbers. What's up, John? Yes to which question? <laughs> that's possible six years look they say that it goes old basically what happens is it starts to get peppery when nicotine sits for a long time uh, if you keep it in a cold dark place they say two years of shelf life in freezer or refrigerated, I, I, I don't know, man. I, it's, I can tell you, just being in a dark place, just room temperature, mine lasted forever. All right, take it easy, Andy. Thanks for the donation, brother. That is correct, Bam Bam. Puff bar is not supposed to be on the shelf. That is correct. But people sell it anyway, so it is what it is. A lot of these companies ignore uh, FDA warning levels, they, the warning letters. They ignore them like they didn't even get them. I, I wouldn't say a phase. It just becomes more tart. Like more, I guess you would say stronger, but that's not the right word. It's just more harsh. There you go. <clears throat> like you're feeling your throat more. Not that it's more effective. It just goes bad. There you go. Cody G just said it. See, we have two Cody G's. That's all sound you, Cody G, Amy. There's your other Cody G. Same exact last name and everything. And then there's another one that doesn't have the last part of your guys' last name. Chase, you could sue anybody you want. Anybody in the world. 
No, um, it, it, basically it's unlocked. Like they're not they're not pursuing the ban in Australia. If you go back X amount of time, you'll see that. Well, again, technically, bam, bam, they all banned. Um, technically. Uh, then you have stricter in states. Again, Northeast is very strict on flavors. Like people in New Jersey, the way that they get flavors, they'd have to order it from another state that has it legal. But then most of those companies won't ship to New Jersey because they, they're aware of the law. Same thing for New York and Massachusetts. And even California. California, I can't ship to. I have to have a vapor license in California, even though I don't have a business in California. I don't know where that lo that letter, I've read that letter to you guys before. So, um, again, states are very strict on flavors. And that includes disposables with flavors in it. Any type of flavor vape. I know people want to argue it and say that they're legal. You could argue it all you want. Fact of the matter is it's not. Just how strict it is. Shatter, I have no idea, brother. They just do what they want to do. They just, you know, the thing is, Jonathan, to answer that question, why they get away with it in North Carolina... Because FDA hasn't been in that shop. You know, when the FDA came here, you can pull up the times that they inspected the store. I think it's three or four. They give you a little paper and they go through your whole inventory. They take pictures of everything. And then they say, okay, why is this on the shelf? You know, this shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be selling this. Technically, the FDA could walk in a shop and close it. Technically. Will they? I don't know. I won't be around for it, so it doesn't doesn't matter. Robert, right. That's what I was just saying. They just ignore it. They ignore the uh, marketing order or the, the warning letter. And then with the coronavirus, they're just going to get away with it longer. Uh, there's, that's not necessarily true, Dawn. That's not true. Eddie's in Netherlands and he gets highly scrutinized for vaping. There's a lot of, you guys got a lot of laws over there in Europe for vaping. I don't know what you're talking about that you don't have any. You guys have a TPD law. You must know something special about Europe that nobody else knows. If anything, you'd have a good argument if you were in the UK, but you still have laws in UK for vaping. I don't know if there's any countries where there is no laws for vaping. I mean, I'm sure there's one, but I don't know of any. Yeah, in Germany, you have a TPD. Well, there you go. Chris is very familiar with the uh, German laws. There's your answer, Don Hunter. They're going to ban vaping here and flavor ban it. It's going to be super bad the next years.
Uh, Bam Bam, do, do I think things like the Puff Bar and Jewel being totally banned will affect other flavor juices? Well, with or without them being banned, it still affects juices just because it's already been implemented. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Um Wait, are you saying recently, Anthony P? The FDA has been coming around here to vape shops. They've been targeting papers and tobacco wraps. Didn't say shit about flavors. Wait, Anthony P, where is it? Where, where are you saying that's happening at? What's up, Antonis? Well, there's your answer, Don Hunter. EU anti-cancer. Wow, that's a hell of a name. Anti-cancer? Jesus Christ. No, I do not, Bam Bam. In the United States, no, I do not. I think eventually it'll come down to, uh, to the raw scheme of things that vaping will be allowed with very, very high restrictions. Tobacco and menthol, just like cigarettes. Uh, kind of like what Jewel and, and Views is doing. And that's it. The way we vape now? No. You'll still be able to buy your shit from overseas, but no, not stores. Nope. That has got to be the craziest comment I've ever seen. You had the vaccine yet, thought YouTubers were on the priority list. What? Where did you hear that at? Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, <laughs> wait where did you hear that at? That YouTubers are on the priority list. Is that a real thing? Is he trolling me? He's got to be trolling. He's He's got to be trolling. That can't be real. Why would somebody that does YouTube be on a priority list? We, we don't interact with people. Oh, I got to look this up now because that's the craziest shit I've ever heard. No, I don't see anything on the internet. Oh, I get it, wanker. Oh. <laughs> Chris, that was my question. Is why would I be a priority over someone that works in a health field? <laughs> Fucking people. Oh, God. I got nothing. Yeah, I got it, Mike. I'm a little slow. I got that cognitive dis degenerative disease. Mm. 
But no, to answer your question, I did not get a vaccine. Anyway, two hours. Any questions before I dip out of here? Vape-related or not vape-related? Did I see your message? Uh, no, I did not. What's your message? Big Amundi. No, I don't, I don't see your, um, no, I don't see your message. I just scrolled up. Just ask again. Oh, thank you, Yucker. Thanks for the 10 beans, brother man. Would you say that UK would ban flavors? I, I mean, I, I look, I don't know much about UK. You know, I, I don't know. The only thing that I know is like from Vic and that's kind of it. You know, I don't, I or, or Chris, but Chris really focuses on Germany and Netherlands. So I, I don't know what their laws imply or what they plan to do. Um, I'd like to give you a recommendation for UK. I don't see them banning flavors. No, I don't. Oh, I already said thank you to that. <clears throat> Jay Hayes, I need a new DNA 2X700 mod, and I'm thinking Rebel, but I'm scared from previous reviews. Should I do it? I think you should save your money up and get a Deception box mod. That's what I think. That's a DNA 21700 mod. So you what you would spend on four rebels is what you would buy a deception for. <laughs> you probably didn't want that answer. Um, look, as far as rebels concerned, rebel, the owner of the company is good. I just feel like um the priorities are a little fucked up. You know, they were they were out selling to companies to try to push their rebel DNA 60 when I had a problem with mine, they couldn't even fix my problem. A, uh, uh, an individual who promoted the shit out of them couldn't fix my problem. When I addressed it, still didn't fix my problem. So what does that tell you about Rebel? Uh, what's the other question? Jay Hayes, glad I was able to catch a live. Hope going well. Okay, I got you, Chris, on that. Uh, on the he Aegis Hero RT, everybody needs to hear the story of that sellout. Yeah, I, look, but I still use it, right? I told you it's a solid product. I'm on my sixth fucking tank with this thing. Solid product, shitty person. Uh, what are other questions we got here? What is your favorite? Oh, I see your question now, Big Mooney. Uh, what is your favorite pod as an RPM 160? Uh, for that type of system, probably the Vupu series. Uh, the Vapor Wrestle one is good, but you can only use that Swag PX80. It's a very good system, but you can only use their tank. So, uh, as far as the tank is concerned, I'd say the Vupu PNP tank with the little adapter this is to me the best one. And then whatever mod you want to put it on. Okay, Silver Black. Thank you for the donation, brother. What do we got? What's the other questions? Thoughts on the Drag 3? Uh, I didn't do the review on it. I don't know. You're talking about Drag 3 Plus, right? I have no idea. Do you think that bands will push the hobbyist community to a firmer do-it-yourself era? Morgan, in short, to answer that question, yes, I do. Um, do, 
what was the question? What do I think bands will push? Oh, wait, what's the other one? I'm still using the Ursa. I need coils. I need coils. There's still juice in it, but that coil is shot. So, no, I'm, I'm using it, but I'm waiting on coils. There was a question that someone just asked. Where is it? Oh, why do I not like pod systems? Who said I don't like pod systems? You talking about like disposable jammies? I, I, I just prefer to use drippers and tanks. Yes, they have, Troy, especially with this. They went back to the Therion days. I just voiced my opinion on this style versus the Therion. I know people would prefer this. I prefer the Therion because it's smaller and more compact. But people complained about the battery tray. I think people just need to learn how to rewrap a battery uh, just because I would rather run the risk, the chance of ripping apart a battery wrap in a smaller mod than never run the chance of ripping a battery wrap and having a bigger mod. There you go. Venom RDA, wow, that's that's an old school RDA. Very good, very good RDA. The Venom, very good. Yes, uh, Dozer, I just did the review on the Skyline R. Um, <sighs> fantastic RTA. Restrictive direct lung or mouth to lung. I love it when these, these people would pose these arguments that you can't do both of those. You're either going to excel at mouth to lung or excel at restrictive direct lung. You can't combine them, combine those two. Oh, how people are so wrong. GT3, Skyline R now. What vapes does Bree primarily use? Bree, yes. what are you vaping on right now? So what is that? Is it Jenna? What else? The miso? No, the, the other one. Oh, um, the, the lizard with the Jenna RDA, the rebel with the Jenna RTA, and the uh, miso pods. She used the shit out of those things. All that stuff that she hates on. That's right. Can you recommend a video to learn ohms, wattage, and resistance? Oh, my God. That would be a tough video. It would be very long, Eric. Um, Honestly, regulated mods just didn't matter. <laughs> that, that is a good point, Eric. With regulated mods, I'm not saying it's not important, but it's not instrumental in building because a regulated mod will not allow you to do a lot of things that you think you could do. For instance, use eight gauge wire. It's basically guitar wire, but uh, <laughs> you ain't gonna fuck your fingers up making a rap out of that. Um, I don't know if I gave it a ten out of a ten. I think I gave it a nine point eight. You're talking about this, the Onegan. Yeah, Bree's making, Bree's doing designs now for a Chinese company, so just keep that in mind. I have nothing to do with it. Yeah, when you start seeing everything coming in pink, it's all me. It's all Bree. I ain't, I ain't got shit. I ain't got shit to do with any of that. <laughs> it's the shirt. Nice. About, about me making a pod system. No, I think people would care. They'd buy it. They would? Yeah, because it's you. Aw. You know what would be really cool? If it had, like, fish in it. Like, real fish? No. No. 
So, <laughs> my favorite hand soap is the soft soap with the little fishies on it. Yeah. It'd be cool if a mod looked like those soft soap containers with the little fishies. Someone's going to do it now. Oh. A Chinese company will do it now that you said that. Oh, it's my favorite soap because it has the fishies on it. It's so cute. <laughs> What's my thoughts on Squid Industries closing down? Um, I know his pain. Highest wattage mod you have. Uh, wattage? That would be the Berserker. Uh, I could do 13.4 volts. So you, uh, depending on the build in it, I, I don't know, 1,000 watts. I'd have to get an ohm calculator out, but a lot. The Berserker. A light bulb, four cell battery. All right, take it easy, Shadow. Yeah, I'm going to dip out of here anyway. All right, so no more questions. We're good. Guys, thank you all for watching. And, um... Yeah, there's there's also some vape news for you. Sorry, we went a little bit longer than normal. Two and a half hours. Holy macaroni. But, yeah, I'm going to dip out of here. And um, for future mods, products, and device updates, just stay tuned for the, um, on my YouTube. You guys be good. Stay beautiful. Oh, and join Patreon.